a $10 billion project will be unveiled in next week's state budget that will transform train travel in Melbourne. State political reporter Brendan Donoghue has the exclusive details and joins us live. Brendan, what can you tell us? Well, Peter, I understand that Tuesday's budget will contain the single most expensive rail project in Victorian history, $10 billion for a new underground for Melbourne, transforming train travel from the northwest to south of the Yarra. Treasurer Michael O'Brien will have a big checkbook out at next Tuesday's Victorian budget. Seven News understands Cabinet has given the go-ahead to a new Metro Rail Underground, a $10 billion plan described as a critical city-shaping project. Work is set to start in 2016, breaking a bottleneck of train lines, allowing an extra 20,000 passengers in peak time and relieving pressure on Melbourne's tram system. We support uh, a Metro Rail capacity project and we'll provide providing a progress report on how we see those projects uh, uh, working in the uh, Tuesday's budget. The original design created at least five new stations running from South Kensington through Parkville under Swanston Street and St Kilda Road to a new station near the Shrine and onto South Yarra. But the government has been considering a new route to avoid more than two years of disruption tearing up Swanston Street. Transport experts have warned the government that completing the Metro Rail Underground is instrumental before starting the City to Melbourne Airport Rail Link. Public transport users want more money spent on rail, not toll roads like the East West Link. The government is now committed to, to an orgy of spending on, uh, on motorways that, um, that now adds up to at least $18 billion um, and uh, we're, we're going to be paying through the nose for that for years. The government is expected to confirm the sell-off of both the Port of Melbourne and Hastings to raise the billions of dollars needed for its pre-election rail and road building agenda. I assure you whatever decisions we make will be in the best interests of Victoria. The Port of Melbourne today announced a third container operator part owned by Philippine Interests. Back to Brendan Donoghue and Brendan transport projects really are the main battleground for November's state election. Well that's right Peter, the Napthine government has really gambled by loading up on transport projects both road and rail. They're promising about $30 billion of projects over the coming years with the Metro Rail, the East West Link and the Rail Link to the city. And there's more to come with the National Party leader Peter Ryan in Benalla tomorrow expected to make a major promise about regional rail. Peter? Thank you Brendan.